Hi, this is Amrita here and welcome to the software engineering lecture. So let's get started with the topic software development life cycle. Software development life cycle SDLC for short is a well defined structure sequence of stages in software engineering to develop the software product. This diagram shows the SDLC activity. SDLC provides a series of steps to be followed to design and develop a software product efficiently. SDLC framework includes the following steps. First is communication. This is the first step where the user initiates the request for a desired software product. He contracts the service provider and tries to negotiate the terms. He submits his request to the service providing organization in writing. Requirements gathering. This is step onwards the software development team works to carry on the project. The team holds discussion with various stakeholders from problem domain and tries to bring out as much information as possible on their requirements. The requirements are uh, segregated into user requirements, system requirements and functional requirements. The requirements are collected using a number of practices like uh, uh, studying the existing system and software, conducting the interviews of users and developers, like collecting answers from the questionnaires. Feasibility study. After requirements gathering, the team comes up with a rough plan of software process. At this step, the team analyzes if a software can be made to fulfill all requirements of the user and if there is any possibility of software being no more useful. It is found out if the project is financially, practically and technologically feasible for the organization to take up. There are many algorithms available which helps the developer to conclude the feasibility of software project. System Analysis at this step, the developers decide a roadmap of their plan and try to bring up the best software model suitable for the project. System analysis includes understanding of software product, limitations, learning system related problems or changes to be done in existing system beforehand, identifying and addressing the impact of the project on organization. The project uh, team analyzes the scope of the project and plans the schedule and resource accordingly. Software design. Next step is to bring down the whole knowledge of requirements and analysis on the desk and design the software product. The inputs from users and information gathered in requirements gathering phases are the inputs of this step. The output of this step comes in the form of two designs, logical design and physical design. Engineers produce metadata and error dictionaries, logical diagrams, data flow diagram, and in some cases pseudocodes. Coding. This step is also known as a programming phase. The implementation of software design starts in terms of writing program code in the suitable programming language like C, C++, Java and developing error-free executable programs efficiently. Software testing is done while coding by the developers and through testing is conducted by testing experts at various levels of code such as module testing, program testing and product testing, in-house testing and testing the product at user's end. Early discovery of error and their remedial is the key to reliable software. Software may need to be integrated with the libraries, databases and other programs. This stage of SDLC is involved in the integration of software with outer world entities.
implementation this means installing the software on user machines at time software needs post installation configurations at user end software is tested for portability and adaptability and integration related issues are solved during the implementation this phase confirms the software operations in terms of more efficiency and less errors if required the user are trained on or added with the documentation on how to operate the software and how to keep the software operational the software is maintained timely by updating the code according to the changes taking place in user and environment or technology disposition um, as time passes the software may decline on the performance front it may go completely absolute obsolete or may need intense upgradation hence uh, a pressing need to eliminate a major portion of the system arises this phase includes uh, achieving data and required software component closing down the system planning disposition activity and terminating system at appropriate end of system time sdlc is a particular abstraction that represents a software life cycle a variety of life cycle model have been proposed and are based on task involved in developing and maintaining the software few well known life cycle models are build and fix waterfall model increment process model under this category there are two models that uh, that are iterative enhancement model and rad red model rapid application development model uh, which is given by the uh, given by ibm next is evolutionary process model there are again two models under this category prototyping model and spiral model v model uh, and i will discuss these models in my next video these are the references if you have any questions and doubt related with this video post your questions and doubts in the comment section i hope this video given you useful information if it is like this video subscribe this channel for such videos thank you